morning, this is Heather Hoffman and today I have a sparkly firefly jar card to share with you using the July Kit of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. This uh, Kit of the Month is of course eight and a half by 11 large sheet of stamps and I couldn't wait to use this image from the stamp set. The jar is fantastic and you can use it for so many other things, but it also comes with all these cute little firefly images as well. So I'm gonna start off by stamping that jar. I'm using my Misty to stamp it onto watercolor paper. I like using my Misty on watercolor paper because it allows me to stamp uh, that double, uh, stamp the image twice on the textured watercolor. That kind of helps ensure that you get a really good impression, good image. Now I'm grabbing those three little fireflies and I just kind of, I'm figuring this out um, as I go along, putting the little fireflies on there. There's also these cute little swirly, um, buzzy trail marks for the fireflies. And once I got those on, it felt like it just needed one more firefly out of the jar instead of um, only the one. So um, I started with one more. I was thinking I'd add two more, but by the time it was done, I was just kind of happy with those two on there the way they were. So now that I have all my images stamped on there, I'm using a pigment ink that's watercolor friendly and I'm gonna watercolor with some distress inks. I've pulled it in a little closer. I'm using a clear stamp block here um, to be able to smoosh my ink pads on and watercolor. Now one thing, this color combo is a little tricky using blue and yellow because I don't know how much you know about color theory, but if you mix blue and yellow together, you get green. And I really didn't want any green on this card. So you notice as I did the blue, I just very loosely watercolored, but I left a little bit of space around those fireflies so that I can add the yellow in there and it's not going to mix with my blue and make um, an ucky green in there that I don't want. And so I'm allowing that to dry a little in the middle first and I'm adding kind of my soft glow around the outside before I come in and add a little bit of color on those fireflies. And I'm just carefully, again, I'm doing it without too much water in there because again, I don't want my colors to mix and get too muddled together. I'm using two shades of yellow and two shades of blue. Uh, squeezed lemonade and mustard seed are the yellows and the blues were tumbled glass and broken china. And you can see kind of my water there, how it's turned green and that kind of proves how, um, if I'd mix those together, that's what I would have ended up with. So I tried to be kind of careful not to do that. Now, while that sits aside and dries a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sentiment from the same set. I'm heat embossing this on a little strip of black cardstock. And this is the shine bright sentiment. And I used my powder tool on the black first, which is just kind of, um, has like a cornstarch or baby powder in it. And when you put it on, it helps keep the embossing powder, it removes the static and any um, loose moisture or anything on the paper. So when you stamp, your embossing powder only sticks on uh, your stamped image. So in this case, it's the sentiment. Now I kind of played around a little to decide where I wanted that sentiment. And I ended up hand trimming um, a border strip along the bottom there. And then just trimming off the extra. I do trim a little more later, so I didn't worry too much about getting that perfectly straight now. I just kind of got it on there. Now here's the fun part where we're gonna add some sparkle. So I'm starting off with some glossy accents that I'm just kind of adding on some of the detail outline places of the image. And then I'm also adding it on the fireflies and their little stream of, and you could use any kind of coarse chunky glitter to adhere at this point. I thought the little mini star confetti, um, these are from Pretty Pink Posh. I thought it added just an extra magical sparkly element. So once I got all those on there, I went ahead and shook the extra off and then I just kind of kept sprinkling the extra on any little spots where I saw a little extra um, of my liquid adhesive, my glossy accents, so that I could use up every last little bit of those stars. And then I set that, as I'm, when I'm making this normally, I would set it aside and let it dry very thoroughly before I finish the card. At this point I needed to finish it for the video, so I just kind of worked carefully. Um, I used my paper trimmer to trim just a small sliver off of each side. So it leaves me a border when I mount on a white card base. Um, I kept my thumb under there to keep the top of my paper cutter from smooshing into my wet glossy accent. So just kind of be careful as you do that. It doesn't hurt to adhere your sentiment at this point though, um, cause it's a little bit easier to get that foam pressed into the glossy accents and give it a little extra hold. And there we go. Adhere it on a white card base and you're all done. Super sparkly, magical. And isn't this image adorable? I absolutely love it. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day. Bye.